I don't want to go. Long time no vlog. Okay, this is a little awkward. For the past two years, I think my body has become very unhealthy because of grad school, thesis paper, different gig, YouTube. Um, I was really overwhelmed for a while. I couldn't get enough sleep. I was stress eating at night, mostly junk food and snacks. Didn't get enough exercise or sunlight. Wasn't able to socialize. So physically and mentally, I wasn't in a very nice place. You can see face and my body has puffed up if you compare it to the old vlogs, but yeah. So you might notice in my old videos for the past two years, I was really stressed very tired all the time but i made my new year's resolution that i'm gonna get fit healthy go to the gym get 20 sessions of pt and here it is So this is what I eat nowadays. Low calorie, nutritious food in a pack. I ordered like 20 of these. They all have different menus. Oh, this looks good. In the meantime, I'm gonna have some protein shake. Always have to have lactose-free milk. Asian. They have Kim Jong Un on it. So protein. Looking good? Two hours later. Uh, took a shower, got my glasses on, on my way to work. Uh, I'm gonna take the subway. Well, we still have to put our masks on in public transportation. It's a hassle because like you see the fog. Oh, I am going to Digital Media City. Well, I get this question a lot. Why are Koreans so slim? Is nobody obese in that country? Well, that is not true. The ratio of relatively skinny people is high. And I think one of the reasons are. One reason I would say is definitely public transportation. You can basically get everywhere. And it's also very affordable with transit systems to pay like 10 cents a bus to a subway, vice versa. A lot of people just commute using public transportation. That itself is a lot of walking. That daily habit really helps. Even from here to the bus station, five minutes at least, definitely a lot of walking you need these kind of stuff. Usually you see only these at the airport. I think people would get exhausted by the time they get to work. It's definitely worse during rush hour when you're crammed with a lot of people. So like escalator after escalator and so far. Digital Media City Station, that's the bus stop over there. Oops, jaywalking. Finally, we're at the office. It took a while. 30 minutes, took a lot of walking. If you do this every single day, commuting is literally your workout. This is our old office. I still use it as the studio. I'm gonna go record some stuff. our green screen room. I usually stream here and currently I'm doing Patreon watch parties. Boys Planet Genie's Kitchen, BTSV on it. <laughs> So 
Uh, I was working a little bit and uh, I saw this article, a very interesting article that caught my eye. I started working out and stuff. I think it's an interesting topic to talk about. So apparently, if you look at this page, March 4th is World Obesity Day. I actually looked it up and it, um, and a thing like that really exists. Like dig into it a little bit. And yeah, I thought like, why not talk about obesity a little bit on this vlog? It started as a fitness vlog anyways. So yeah, apparently March 4th is World Obesity Day. And it says that it shares the view of promoting practical solutions to end the global obesity crisis. A lot of the article headlines are saying obesity should be classified as an actual medical condition, like an official chronic disease. So I thought it was a very interesting topic to talk about and share with you guys because as a Korean living in the Korean society I've always been wait this background sucks but yeah as a Korean I've always been fat shamed by my family relatives friends peers and everybody that's just how Korea is everyone as you've seen in the footage is pretty much fit relatively I think it's because of the Asian Korean diet or just like using public transportation everybody's been telling me David you need to go to the gym and work out go on a diet and stuff like that I really want to, but it's really stressful. So this article really caught my eye and that looks pretty good. I'm not here to like talk about or like scold anyone to go get fit, go work out. I'm not in that position or status to say that to anybody. As a matter of fact, as I've told you, it's always been me told that I'm fat, I need to start working out. So yeah, celebrating World Obesity Day, I just wanted to say this. Indeed, obesity might be considered a very serious personal health problem, even a global health issue. I think I've read like, like a big percentage of Americans are obese and it's like a national alerting situation. But despite that, I think it's sometimes viewed in such a negative light that it just transcends to the level of like fat shaming. And based on what I read, based on what I felt personally, I think there needs to be a change in that perception, that stigma towards obesity. And so I actually did some research on this fun facts about obesity. Okay, got my glasses on to look a little bit more professor-like. By the way, I do professor series on K-pop Herald. I explained new genes last time, so go check that out. But anyways, to share the interesting research I did about obesity. So apparently the negative social stigma upon obesity and obese people, calling them lazy, lacking willpower is one, scientifically wrong. Two, it actually discourages attempts of them trying to convert into healthy lifestyles. And it actually leads them to more harmful behavior like overeating, mental stress. And according to modern research, everyone has different bodies with different metabolisms and also there are diverse uncontrollable factors that affect obesity such as genetics neurotransmitters and hormones gut microbiota that's what it said probiotics and stuff so basically this is rebutting the whole narrative of people thinking diets and exercise is the golden solution to obesity those common two factors contribute less than you think actually less than 50 percent of the reasons to obesity to rephrase that the aforementioned factors such as genetics or neurotransmitters, hormones, and the probiotics, whatever, those things actually take into account more than the dieting and the exercising part. Even if someone has willpower and is like grinding every single day, there might be biological and medical reasons behind why that person is struggling to lose weight, to come into healthy shape, uh, maintain a healthy lifestyle. If you push someone like out of good heart to motivate them and stimulate them, it actually might have more negative impact impacts because the person will first of all get stressed even if the person forces him or herself to do the diet and work out suddenly which is not their normal routine and their metabolism isn't adapt to that that will actually result in a rebound and the body will resist with various hormones reactions related to the food and satisfaction you get from it the level of hunger cravings that's what people call yo-yo so in short that's why exercise and willpower isn't really the absolute solution but rather, if an obese person is to get healthy, it's best to consult with a doctor first and take a very professional medical approach according to each person's body type. Okay, so moral of the story, from now on, we all need to change our perceptions of obesity and acknowledge that everyone has a different body and metabolism and time to start working out. And rather than shaming and aggressively pushing people, rushing people, I think it'd be better to try to accept 
understand and recommend professional help than just saying you need to work out or go eat salad every day. Basically, don't judge others with your own standards. You never know what they're going through. People who might be obese and might be struggling with those problems. I don't think you need to be stressed or intimidated. Of course, getting healthy should be a priority and a goal, but uh, just consult with medical experts first and take it one step at a time. The goal is to attain a long-term healthy lifestyle and sustain it rather than just losing 10 kilos of weight and getting buff short term. So spread the word guys, celebrating World Obesity Day. After getting educated on the subject myself, I, I feel like I've lost a lot of anxiety already. And now I feel like I won't get stressed out seeing my double chin or my beer belly. On top of that, I am working out and trying to eat healthy. So I hope that goes well. Uh, the Patreon upload hasn't finished yet. Here again, uh, the homepage worldobesityday.org. Useful information here from healthcare professionals, changing perspectives. Oh wow, according to this statistic, 3.5 million people died of COVID when 2.8 million died of obesity. So, wow, it is on par with the pandemic. It says here in Korean, obesity is not a matter of habit anymore. It's a disease that threatens your health. Through consultation with medical officials, finding the most effective cure is the most important thing. So yeah, that was it. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. I mean, it was just me working out, going to work and talking about obesity, but I think it was a very important discussion that was necessary. Hope you got something out of it. And hopefully next time, if there is a next time for these vlogs, let's try to do something more exciting in Seoul outside. Let me know what, what kind of vlogs you want to see. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. Get the awesome perks. It really helps us keep going on producing content. I really appreciate current Patreons. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. See you guys next time. Bye.